Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Well, did it again. Found me another project cart, 2010 this time, club car precedent. And uh, this one, well, it's rough. Uh, it's lived a hard life. It's started out on a golf course, ended up at a car dealership for a number of years, went to a race team for a few years, and uh, now I've ended up with it. So. We'll take a walk around, I'll show you what we're dealing with. We've definitely got bad batteries to start with, so it's dead in the water where it sits. But uh, we'll take a look and I'll show you what we're working with. First thing I like to do on these is uh, take a look under the hood. And under the hood, I mean the seat. You know, it's, un it's under the seat is what I'm saying. We're gonna look under the seat and uh, see what we've got. Uh, I, the previous owner told me that the batteries were getting bad, so there's no sense in trying to revive them. We had a pretty hard freeze here this winter in Arkansas. The key was left on, which means the batteries are just absolutely shot. There's no sense in putting money into them or time to try to revive them. We'll just pull them out of there. I've got some fresh ones in the garage we can put in. I'd like to do that to at least make sure the cart is operational. So we'll start with that. So this is kind of interesting. Not only was the key left on, but there's no key. So luckily, I have a spare. Um, seems like the switch is working just fine. Seats are pretty well shot. So this is, like I said, 2010. So this is actually gonna be the uh, six eight volt batteries uh, ran in a series and you come up with your 48 volts when you do that. I have the four 12 volts in the garage. We'll set those in here, get everything wired together and make sure we can at least move it, make sure the motor's good and, and all of that before we get too carried away. So that's that. Um, it does have a seat kit on it and I've noticed right away, can you see that? We've got broken brackets on both sides. So whether it be from the weight of the passengers or the other option is looks like they were using it to pull stuff because that one over there that's not too bad but this one here something wrong there so we definitely gotta maybe straighten that or buy a replacement bracket for it uh, other than that the, the base looks good I didn't see anything really bent up on that I'm not a super fan of this seat kit just because it is kind of plain and you know it's not doesn't have any flair to it it's just kind of a basic metal dare I say cheap looking uh, seat kit the other thing that's kind of a bummer on this one is the underbody and if you've watched my previous videos you've heard me talk about the underbody before that's the piece that encompasses the bag well and everything it's it's not good it's it's shot but the good news is uh, the cheapest I could find online was about four hundred twenty nine dollars and uh, got to know uh, my local golf cart shop here that deals with the new club cars and was talking to him a little bit and I've got a new one I picked up uh, for about two hundred and I think he gave me a discount I think it was two hundred and sixty eight uh, which absolutely shocked me from the dealer. So I've got a brand new rear body assembly or uh, what they call underbody that we can put on there. I'm not sure what to do with this one yet. Um, it's got the original ugly plastics. I do have um, a set of blue plastics off a of Stormtrooper, if you remember that. That would make this cart look pretty good. Um, I've also got a rear white body. I would have to buy a new front piece, but I do have the rear white body, a brand new one actually, sitting at the warehouse. So I've got options when it comes to that. Do I lift it? Do I leave it stock? Um, do I go crazy with it? So I've got a couple ideas I think I'm just going to experiment with. Um, I, I did pick up new rocker panels from the dealer as well. Um, I found those online for 27 I thought that was a good deal and then he sold me brand new club car ones uh, and I think they were 23 maybe they weren't much at all so that was a no-brainer uh, this one um, you know is all scuffed up and then the one on the other side is actually cracked and broken I was plugging around on Facebook marketplace the other day and these are a used set of wheels that I picked up 
um, there's four of them and they are basically like brand new so those are probably gonna go on here for now uh, windshield looks like it might be okay it's dirty for sure I'll walk around the back side again um, the other thing I noticed was this one bracket was a little bit bent of course from trying to use it as a pull car this one's broken um, and that's why I bought new ones the brakes definitely need to be adjusted I saw that the pedal goes down way too far um, front bumper yeah it's so just okay kind of bashed in super dirty you can see there where it was used for the car lot so I think what I'm gonna do now is just um, roll it off the trailer and um, get these batteries out of here maybe I'll leave it on the trailer I don't know and see if we can get the thing operational anyway I can already tell this is going to be a great build. Look at what we found under the battery. That's right, 25 cents. Okay, so got the old batteries out, and um, I'm going to drop those 12 volts in here, those four 12 volts. Not really worried about cleaning anything up or doing anything right now, uh, just because I would just want to see if the thing is even going to move. So we'll get those 12 volts dropped in here, see what we got. Okay, so just what I suspected, if we're going to use these four 12 volts, the case will have to be modified just a little bit to fit that battery in. I definitely don't recommend doing that unless you have superhuman vice grip like hands like me. I use a bungee cord, hook them into these, and then grab it. And those 12 volts, they're heavy. As you can see, I'm out of breath. Those are a lot heavier than the 8 volts, so got them dropped in there. We'll get it wired up, and hopefully we can make this thing go. Don't try this at home, folks. Uh, not my best work, but... Because the batteries don't sit in here, um, I made a little extension for the ground cable um, just to see where we're at. I've got everything hooked in a series, and if all goes well, we should have about 48 to 52 volts there. We've got 49.6, which is perfect. We can hook our positive up, and that'll give us our power. And then we can take it out of the tow run position, see if we've got movement. Okay, moment of truth, we'll put it in the run position, turn our key on, put it in forward. We are on the trailer here, so hopefully we don't go too far. Ooh, she wants to go. Okay, so good news, um, we'll get it off the trailer and air up the tires, take it for a ride around the block. Charles here, but it's bright out today. Let's 
so super slow right now but like I said I believe that's because my batteries are almost dead in fact probably shouldn't go too far might not make it back so we'll turn around and get these batteries charged up that'll definitely help but it's quiet motors quiet brakes are good do need a little adjusting but well stops really good actually yeah we're getting slower and slower here so definitely running out of juice get it back to the back to the garage Definitely not going to set any land speed records. Um, I think my batteries are almost dead. A 48 volt battery in a golf cart is actually almost dead. You want to be 51, 52 volts fully charged. Uh, this charger was bad for this cart, so I ordered a new one, and that's on the way. Should be here uh, Tuesday, I believe. Today's what is today? Saturday. There we go. And um, we'll go for a ride around the block a little bit more just to test the brakes and things like that, but. It should be just fine. So what's next on the menu for this old girl? I'm not sure. My mind is spinning with the ideas of what to do with this rear seat kit. Do I fix it? Do I throw it away? Body kit? Do I use the body kit that I have? Do I buy a new one? Do I lift it? Do I leave it stock? So many ideas. So I'm going to think about it for a while, but at least we know it runs. At least we know it moves and uh, we'll get it cleaned up a little more, obviously get the pressure washer out. That's my favorite part of the process, is cleaning. And uh, kind of see what we have from there. I wish I would have taken you up underneath when I had it on the trailer. Believe it or not, this thing is super clean underneath. Um, the frame, the motor, everything is probably one of the best condition-wise on the underside as any of the carts I've done. So, it's all I can think of for now, but we'll... Uh, Keep rolling those ideas around. Put your comments below on what you'd like to see. And uh, not sure. We're just going to leave it a little bit stock if we're going to go crazy. Uh, I do have a couple people looking for more of a stock cart, so I might just do that with the parts that I have. But that's not a lot of fun. So I don't know. Put your comment in and let me know. But that's going to do it for this episode of Cart Crazy. We'll see you next time.